Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the get to know me tag and I'm so blessed to have so many new subbies. I love you guys so much. I don't care if you've been with me from the start or if you just subscribed last week. I really appreciate every single one of you and it means so much every time I get a new subscriber and you guys watch my videos and comment. It just means so much because I'm over here filming by myself and it's really great to get that feedback from you guys. That being said, since I have so many new people here on my channel, I did want to do the get to know me tag. That way the new people can get to know me a little bit better because sometimes I forget that not everyone has been with me for like the past two years and I feel like they just know me and I know them. So I just want to do the tag. That way you guys can get to know me a little better. I've seen the tag on YouTube and I just think the questions are so boring. So I hope this video is not too boring. Um, I found some new questions online and then I also had you guys ask me some questions. So I'm gonna do a little mixture of your questions and then the questions that I saw for like a get to know me tag online. So first of all, my name is Melissa Flores and I'm a YouTuber. I do this full time for those of you who are wondering. I've been doing it full time for two years now and it is the biggest blessing in my life because I love what I do. I love interacting with you guys and I love creating videos every single week. And I live in New Jersey. My channel is just about life. I feel like it's a, a lifestyle channel. There's a lot of beauty here. So you're definitely going to get makeup tutorials and fashion hauls, um, things like that. But my channel is also about life because I upload personal vlogs, just sharing my day-to-day -day life with you guys. Those are some of my favorite types of videos to film. I vlog every single week. So yeah, my channel is definitely beauty and lifestyle and just a mixture of everything that makes me who I am. My favorite thing about YouTube is the community. I, just all aspects of the community. I love the instant interaction I can have with you guys when I post a video and you guys comment and we can have a conversation. And I also love being a viewer myself. I have so many people who I love to watch here on YouTube. So I just love the community that we have and the understanding that we have with each other, whether you're a creator or you're a viewer or you're both. Like we just all, we have this community that we just understand it. Like we just understand the YouTube world. My least favorite thing about YouTube is I wish like there was like a YouTube support center that like when, you, or when you're having problems like uploading a video or something goes wrong. I wish there was like someone that you can directly speak to and be like, hey, my video is not uploading properly or the audio is off. Like, you know, like there's not really like a center where you could go and like speak to someone on the phone and maybe they can walk you through a problem. And I understand YouTube is huge. Like there's probably like millions of users uploading videos. So I can understand that that could be difficult. But I would say that is the worst thing. It's like you can't like get on the phone with customer service and figure out your issues that you're having if you're a creator. My advice is when, and I say this to everyone whenever they ask me like, oh, I really wanna start a channel, what advice do you have? My biggest advice is just do it. Just start your channel, but don't go crazy buying all the equipment because you might think you like something and next thing you know, you bought all this lighting and camera equipment and you sit down and you film a few times and you're like, oh, I really hate this. So don't go crazy buying all the best equipment and lighting, like try to film in front of natural lighting and just start. You're never going to, your first video, your first few videos are never going to be the best. Um, you're never going to feel 100% natural your first video. So you just have to start and you get better as you go. That's the thing with YouTube, like there's no like course you can go take. You just have to start and go and start talking to your camera and that's the only way you're going to get comfortable in front of the camera that's the only way you're going to figure out what types of videos you like to film also because a lot of times we're just we think we want to film a certain type of video and maybe you like that for, at first but then you start developing other interests and other things that your viewers like to watch so as you go along you'll figure out what works for you what doesn't what you like and stuff like that but you just have to do it like there's no other way around it just do it. Don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about who subscribed. Just start filming, start uploading, and have fun. All right, let's see what questions you guys had for me. How did your parents react when you told them you were doing YouTube full time? That's so funny. Um, well, when I started YouTube at first, I didn't really tell anyone, to be honest. Like, I was just filming videos, and then I think I randomly mentioned it to them, like, oh, yeah, I'm uploading like makeup tutorials online. And I think they were just like, okay, cool. But then when I told them I was going to 
try to do this full time. They were supportive, but I know they were also scared for me because this isn't like saying like, oh, I'm going to go be a doctor or I'm going to be a lawyer. You know, it's it's something that's new that not every, especially like maybe your parents and grandparents, they don't understand like YouTube, what are you doing? So I think they were a little bit scared. Um, my mom would like always send me job applications or like she would send me links to places she found online that were hiring and i'm like i don't want to go i don't want to go do that like i'm trying to do this full time so but i think that they were just they wanted me to be stable and they wanted me to be safe so i think they were a little bit nervous maybe they still are but they're definitely super supportive and they're starting to understand more of what i do and i think they're proud now honestly i kind of do picture myself living here forever basically pretty much because my family is here and I wouldn't want to live apart from them forever but I definitely wouldn't object to moving because the thing with moving is I feel like you can always come back home if you don't like it but I love change I think it's exciting and I think it helps you grow as a person when you go through changes in life so I'm not opposed to leaving New Jersey um, but I feel like I would probably end up raising my family here in the future if I want to have a family. I am not positive all the time but I make it a point to be positive online. I know that I have an effect on others because you're watching me on Snapchat, you're seeing what I post on Instagram, you're watching my videos and I don't want to be a negative part of your day. I want to be a fun part of your day and the part of your day that makes you smile and makes you forget about your problems so I make it a point to be super positive when I'm working when I'm doing my online job but also I strongly feel like the more positive you are and the more even when you're not feeling your best and you just force yourself to be positive that kind of starts to make you feel happier so I just make it a point to push past my struggles and try to be happy because we're only given one life and I don't want to waste it complaining and being miserable. I want to enjoy every moment, even just little moments that might not seem like a big deal. Like if my if I get to binge watch my favorite show, I'm happy. Like day is made. You just have to find little victories throughout your day and little things that get you excited. Like maybe you got to have your favorite food that day. Maybe you got to have the most amazing ice cream. Maybe you got to watch your favorite show. Like just be happy about those little moments and enjoy them. I did go to college. I went to Iona College and I majored. I have my bachelor's in communications and journalism. So when I was in high school and even in college, I had really bad social anxiety. I wouldn't say really bad, but I would for force myself to be social. But I definitely had social anxiety. Like I hated going to school late. I hated walking in late because it would make me nervous to think like everyone's eyes would be on me if I was the last one to walk in. And I, I dreaded going to school. Like I hated walking in the hallways. I didn't like people looking at me. Like I don't know what was up with me. Like it was definitely some some type of social anxiety. Um, and I still deal with it sometimes. Like when I'm in big groups, sometimes I feel a little bit uncomfortable. I do better in smaller groups and I do really well one-on-one -on -one with people. I love to get to know someone one-on-one. -on -one. But for some reason, I get a little bit of anxiety when it's a really big group. But I push through anyways. I, I love people. I love meeting new people. I love connecting with new people. So I kind of just push through. But back to the question, um, I hated high school. <laughs> but I had great friends. It's not like I didn't go through bullying or anything like that, thankfully. Um, but I just hated going to school for some reason. I wasn't involved in anything. But... Again, I had some really great friends, some friends that I'm still best friends with to this day, and I love them. And it was, it's pretty awesome to be friends with someone for that long and to grow up together in that way. All right, guys, those were all of the questions for the Get to Know Me tag. I mean, it wasn't really like a specific tag because I just found my own questions online and then I answered your questions. But I feel like that's way better because some of the questions that I saw for the Get to Know Me tag was like, what's your favorite color? I feel like that's so boring. Like... Who cares? Let's get into other things. Let's really get to know each other. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.